GameTrack is a brand of three-dimensional game control systems based on position tracking, designed for home video game platforms such as video game consoles and personal computers. The first GameTrack was invented in 2000 by Elliot Myers, who developed and guided the Gamester video game peripheral range for Lita Media Products and later Radica Games. Myers founded Gaming Company in two games around GameTrack in November 2000. The main hardware for the original GameTrack is the base unit, a weighted device positioned on the floor in front of the display. The base unit communicates with the console or PC by universal serial bus, and also features an attached foot pedal input. Technology The GameTrack uses a patented mechanical system for tracking position of physical elements in three-dimensional space in real time. The base unit features two identical mechanisms, each of which can determine the three-dimensional coordinates of an associated element relative to the mechanism. Each mechanism contains a retracting cable reel and a small tubular guide arm from which the cable passes out. The guide arm is articulated in a ball joint such that the arm and ball follow the angle at which the cable extends from the mechanism. At the end of the cable is a fastener for connecting to the tracked element. The distance of the tracked element from the mechanism is determined through components which measure the rotation of the spool drum for the retracting cable reel, and calculating how far the cable is extended. Through the ball joint and guide arm, the mechanism functions in a similar fashion as a gamepad analog stick to determine the angular direction from the mechanism to the track element. From the distance and angle data, a three-dimensional position for the element is resolved. The predetermined spacing and orientation of the mechanisms on the base unit allows the coordinate data gathered by the two mechanisms to be converted into positions in a unified space. According to in two games, the mechanisms can determine position to an accuracy of 1 mm anywhere within a 3 m cube around the unit, with no processor overhead or time delay." By tracking two positions, it is possible to independently track two different objects, or the position and orientation of a single object, such as a sword or baseball bat. The game track includes special fingerless gloves, each with a fastener along the outside edge for attaching a tether cable, allowing the system to track both of a user's hands. Haptic functionality was planned to be incorporated into future revisions of the original game track, in which supplementary retraction forces on the tension cables would be dynamically increased or decreased to simulate various effects. Topic: History. According to Myers, he arrived at the basic concept for the game track while playing with a retractable washing line in a hotel bathroom. While pulling the cord out, Myers thought of combining it with a joystick mechanism to create a 3D control device. After testing the concept, the developers worked on an implementation to make the device affordable, accurate, and reliable enough for a mass market. Myers stated that, "...the whole process took about three years to get right." In January 2003, Atomic Planet Entertainment was confirmed as a licensed developer for the game track, developing the launch title for The Peripheral, a first-person fighting game originally entitled Black Wind. In the game, players move their hands to punch, block, dodge and wield magic against the on-screen opponent. In August 2004, a few months before launch, the game track was showcased at the 2004 Games Convention, where it won a Best of GC award for most innovative product", along with the renamed Dark Wind, at the convention in two games publicly debuted Real World Golf, a golf simulator game being developed by Aqua Pacific with design consultant John Hare, and set for release in 2005. GameTrack was released for PlayStation 2 on October 22, 2004 in Europe, bundled with Dark Wind. The game received mixed reviews but went on to sell around 60,000 copies. On August 26, 2005, in two games simultaneously released PlayStation 2 versions of Real World Golf and GameTrack version 2 in Europe. GameTrack version 2 is functionally identical to the previous version, but features various design refinements. Real World Golf debuted at number 19 in the weekly chart track rankings for PlayStation 2 software titles in the United Kingdom, after only two days of sales, rising to number 6 the next week, and peaking at number 3 the following week. Remaining in the top 20 for another six weeks, the game was considered a major success by the company. 
In November 2005 in two games announced that it had secured additional funding and support, and was planning to expand GameTrack to new regions and platforms. The company also revealed plans for more GameTrack games, including self-published bowling, basketball, first-person shooter, and party game titles, and a baseball game from GameTrack's distributor Mad Cats. PC versions of the GameTrack and Real World Golf were released in Europe on November 23, 2005. On April 11, 2006, GameTrack was released for both PlayStation 2 and Xbox in the United States, bundled with enhanced versions of Real World Golf. On August 25, 2006, in two games released Real World Golf 2007 in Europe for PlayStation 2 and PC, by which time over 300,000 GameTrack units had been sold, with the creation of its Real Play and GameTrack Freedom products, in two games is no longer developing for the original GameTrack system. Topic: Game Track Freedom. On October 20, 2006, a next-generation wire-free Game Track system, using a patent-pending ultrasonic tracking technology, was revealed at a press event in London under the name Game Track Fusion. Based on different technologies, the new system is not compatible with the original Game Track. The system utilizes a compactable USB connected base unit and various wireless RF controller units. The system tracks the position of a controller unit through four ultrasonic transceivers in the base unit which are used for the trilateration of an ultrasonic transceiver on the controller unit. The controller units also incorporate three axis accelerometers, which are used to help determine the controller's rotational orientation. According to in two games, the system is accurate to within about 2 mm. The standard controller unit is a wand which features interchangeable clip-on heads for applications such as tennis and golf. Custom controller units such as a bowling ball controller were also featured. A concept design was shown for a two-piece wireless motion sensing gamepad controller that can quickly be split apart or snapped together. Among the game ideas conceived for the system is a minigame based on the buzz wire. Steady hand game, in which the player attempts to move and angle a wand to guide an attached hoop along a threaded wire without allowing the hoop to contact the wire, in two games positions the control system as a competitive cross-platform alternative to the Wii Remote, targeting it for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 platforms. Originally planned to be released in summer, fall 2007 with a base unit and wand for less than £30 approximately. $56, C.2006, as of August 17, 2007, the system, renamed GameTrack Freedom, was stated to still be in development. The product is linked to the game Squeeballs, announced at GDC 2009 by PDP and being developed by Iconic Games. More information about the game, including a trailer, can be found at the teaser site www.squeeballs.com. In 2008, in two games, along with Squeeballs and the GameTrack and GameTrack Freedom Technologies, were acquired by U.S. Peripherals Group, PDP, owners of the Pelican range of gaming products. <laughs> <laughs> Related products <laughs> Real play On August 17, 2007, in two games announced Real Play, a range of family-friendly video games for the PlayStation 2 with wireless motion sensing controller units similar to those originally shown for then-named GameTrack Fusion, but without the ultrasonic tracking technology. The Real Play controllers feature accelerometers with a full-scale sensing range of 5 grams. The first four Real Play titles Real Play Racing, Real Play Pool, Real Play Golf, Real Play Puzzle Sphere were released in the United Kingdom on November 30, 2007 at a retail price of £34.99 each approximately. $72, C.2007, with the release of two additional titles Real Play Bowling, Real Play Tennis planned for 2008. The company currently has plans to release the Real Play line outside of the UK. Topic Notes. Carita, the Xbox version connects through the Xbox controller port, which uses standard USB signaling, but features proprietary ports. 
Carrot B, in two games renamed the title from Black Wind to Dark Wind in late April 2004, to avoid negative publicity after the phrase, Black Wind of Death was used in a statement published in mid March from the Abu Hafs al Masri brigades to describe a potential strike against America. <laughs>